Hello and welcome. In this video we're going to look at how to work out the equation of trajectory of a particle which is this formula here. Now this formula here is not provided in your A-level formula book so it is something that you need to remember. So let's have a look at a typical projectile. So we have a projectile which is taken off from this point here following this green dotted path with an initial speed of u and it is projected at an angle of alpha degrees to the horizontal. At some point in time t the particle will reach this point here with the, with the coordinates of x comma y and what we need to do is to create a formula for the motion of this particle. So we're going to model this horizontally and vertically using SUVAT. And the first thing we need to decide is which direction we're going to take as positive. Now since the particle has been launched upwards, I'm going to say upwards is positive. Which means gravity is pulling it down, so gravity will be negative. So let's look at the horizontal motion of this particle. So if we look at SUVAT horizontally, So, SUVAT horizontally, the um, displacement is going to be called x. The initial speed is going to be called u cos alpha. Uh, the final speed will be u cos alpha as well. The acceleration horizontally is zero and time we're just going to call t for the time being. Now I am interested in finding out the time, so I'm going to use a, use a SUVAT formula which involves S and T. And the best one to use here is S equals UT plus a half AT squared. And the reason for this is because A is zero, this whole part of the equation is cancelled out. So the equation just becomes S equals UT, so S is X equals u which is u cos alpha and multiplied by time. So x is equal to u cos alpha multiplied by time and if we rearrange this we can make t the subject if we need. So t is equal to x divided by u cos alpha. So that's the horizontal motion. Let's look at the vertical motion. So again, if we list SUVAT, the displacement vertically is called Y. The initial speed vertically is called U sine alpha. Uh, the final speed vertically is something that we don't know yet. The acceleration due to gravity is going to be minus 9.8, so minus G. And T, we're just going to call T for now, but we do know what T is. So we want a SUVA equation which has S, U, A, and T. The best equation to use here would be the same one. S is equal to UT plus a half AT squared. S is the, the value of Y. U is equal to U sine alpha multiplied by T plus a half times minus g, so that's going to be minus a half g times t squared. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use this formula. t is equal to x divided by u cos alpha and substitute that into what we have here. So this will give us y equals u sine alpha multiplied by t which is x divided by u cos alpha minus a half g times t squared so if that's t t squared would be x squared over u squared cos squared alpha let's continue over here so if we tidy this up a little bit, we have u sine alpha times x 
divided by u cos alpha minus a half g x squared over u squared cos squared alpha. And we try and simplify from here. So y is equal to that. So the u here can cancel with this u, which leaves us with y equals x. And then we've got sine alpha divided by cos alpha, which gives us tan alpha. Over on this side, we can rewrite this as minus, and we can take this two to the bottom, so it becomes a two u squared. So g x squared over two u squared and then we have a cos squared alpha on the bottom which I'm just going to rewrite as 1 over cos squared alpha. We can improve on this, copy the left part and then the right part. 1 over cos squared is sec squared. So this can be rewritten as gx squared over 2u squared multiplied by sec squared alpha. And also you should have learnt that sec squared alpha is equal to 1 plus tan squared alpha. So if we substitute that in, we get gx squared over 2u squared multiplied by 1 plus tan squared alpha. Okay, and then if you want, you can rewrite it in this form. So y is equal to x tan alpha minus gx squared, and then on the top, 1 plus tan squared alpha over 2u squared. And that there is the equation of trajectory of a projectile. So you do need to memorize that formula. It will not be given to you in your formula book. Thank you for watching today's video on how to work out the equation of trajectory of, of, trajectory of a projectile. If you have found this video useful, do hit the like button. And if you don't already subscribe to us, subscribe for more videos like this. See you next time.